But our good friends Bobby and Greg Van Skoik are going to come up, and we're going to talk with them just for a few minutes. And many of you know them. Uh, they've been missionaries to Haiti. They've been in our church for years now. And uh, these, these folks have been, honest to goodness, they have been, uh, well, I'm going to ask them some different questions, but they have been just such an example of, of, of I, I don't know how to say this other than just an example of people of faith uh, that, I've, that I've seen in my life, just, just examples. When you think, when you look in the Bible and it talks about the examples, those that you should follow, it should say verse whatever, Bobby and Greg Van Skoik. I mean, honest to goodness, it's crazy how just great leaders. So if you want to stay, please stay for another 10 minutes. I'm just going to talk with them for a few moments. We're going to pray over them. They're, they're going to be moving. And um, great story they'll share with you. But if you need to go, I totally understand that I know the school tomorrow and things like that. If you can wait 10 minutes, fine. If not, just go ahead and take your seat. And I'm going to have them come on up here. And uh, grab a, let me grab this mic here as well. You do, Barry, if you don't mind. And uh, thank you. Yeah, oh, you got one too. Okay. So they're coming up here, and I'm just going to let them share a couple of things, and we're going to pray over them. We always do this, uh, especially when people go on short-term trips. But this is more of a long-term sh- trip. I guess they'll come back some and, uh, and visit. You guys, come on over here, guys. Why don't you welcome them up here this, this evening? There you go, hon. Love you guys so much. Hey, so come on. Come on. Well, okay, I'm going to keep talking like that then and keep you here. No, I'm just kidding. No, I seriously, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, honestly, uh, I know you might want to share where you're going, maybe and why, a little bit. You don't have to get, you know, but that, that way they'll know some of the backdrop there, you guys. We love y'all, but we, you know, we're, we're moving to Lancaster City, Pennsylvania uh, to be close to our daughter, Gobby. Her husband Brian and uh, two grandbabies. And we want to come alongside them to kind of encourage them and kind of work with them to help Brian work through some uh, medical issues he's got right now. So we're, we're going to go up there and let the grandbabies have a pretty strong role. Okay. <laughs> I've got some photos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but we, uh, we're kind of excited. It's a very diverse city. Right in the middle of all this Amish country. You all heard of Lancaster because of the Amish. Well, <clears throat> Lancaster City was founded in 1729. And it's, it's um, all brick, these beautiful townhouses, early houses built you know, in the 1800s. And uh, it's a very diverse city. And we're kind of excited. We want, our prayer is this, at least for me, obviously I don't know what you're, <clears throat> that I could keep my eyes fixed on the God that has a future and a hope for us up there, and then I can kind of dust off my tradition and cast off my religion and do ministry up there. We're going to keep, you know, uh, Grace Oaks Ministry is going to keep going business as usual. Uh, the ministry in Haiti is still going strong. As soon as COVID gets kind of under control, we're going to go back, you know, as we used to, four times a year. But I'm excited about the, the opportunities to minister locally. This church has helped me this church has sort of given me a picture of the importance of international ministry. Of course, you know, we lived in Haiti for 17 years. We believe in international ministry. But this church has helped see, helped me see the importance of balancing international ministry with local ministry. So there's all kind of local ministry opportunities up there. I've got to tell you a story. And then I'll let Bobby talk. No, 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 no. <laughs> But when we um, were first up there in uh, September, at one point, Bobby did a double take. I said, what did you just see? She said, we just passed a Haitian church. So that's kind of cool. And then all over the city are these signs people put in their yard and in their windows and their front yards. And it's in three languages. And in English, it says, we don't care where you're from. We're glad you're our neighbor. And it's in Arabic. And another language I don't know quite identified yet, but it, it must be like an African tribal language or something. But anyway, that was kind of like my sign. That it's, a, it's a kind of a cool town. Yeah, so, but we, we love you all. We're going to miss you, and we're going to miss what this church has meant to us. I just wanted to say that um, I cannot think of a, a better pastor or a better um, 
our pastor from um, Espanol or the team of pastors, the production team, the worship team, the prayer team, the women's ministry. I can't think of a better. I can't. And so it is with a lot of, you know, bittersweetness. But we are excited because God's put it before us and we are just following him. So, but we'll, we'll be back sometimes. And we love you all from the deepest parts of our heart. And thank you for embracing us and letting us come here and be part of your family. Thank you for including us, a couple of Yankees for you. <laughs> but uh, you embraced us when we came here. We, we really appreciate that. And that's been kind of like uh, Cornerstone's thing. I mean, uh, we really like it. Mm-hmm. We're going to miss that. Hey, we're just a click away. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, we'll trade mics. I'm going to give that to him. Um, uh, so, hey, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you this. This is very interesting. Um, I want to ask you guys this question. This is on the spot. I don't have many questions. This is one. You came into this church as ministers of the gospel. In your own right, a wonderful ministry that's been established in Haiti. Years, I don't know if people understand when they say the work that is in Haiti that they do. When I tell you it is significant, it is significant. Um, one of the brightest lights in Haiti is because of the ministry that they do in Grace Oaks. It is, it is absolutely uh, changing the country. It, it, it is phenomenal. But what I find very interesting is, even with that, you came into this church, and you guys just served. Like, you never, you never said, hey, we are, this is who we do. This is what. You just, and I'm just curious, is, is what was going through your heart and your mind when you stepped into that, like what was it that drove you to say, "Hey, look, we'll we'll open a door for you"? I mean, I've seen you guys do all kinds of things. You're more than qualified to preach, to teach, do whatever. I've seen you do things, and I go, "It's the most honoring thing." That's what I mean by example wise. What was in your heart, like what when you came here? What just caused you to do that? What, you know, what I'm saying when other does that make sense? Like, is there anything there you could share? Uh, maybe to the church, just as a body of believers, I think it's important for people to hear um, the power of that. Anything there that you? Um, I think I would just say that, uh, you know, we get to, all of us, we get to be God's kids, and we get to serve, and it's an honor and a privilege, and wherever he puts you to do it, it's like, thank you, Lord, because you've given me this opportunity to serve you. So serving here is serving him, and that makes us happy. Wow, right? that's awesome. Yeah. Serving that's here is serving him. That's so cool. Yeah, but that's awesome. That's, uh, that's so good. Okay, Bobby and our kids learned the Haitian language so well, so quickly, and I always struggled with it. So it was always a struggle for me to, to minister over there. And when I came over here, it's like, oh, my gosh, they all speak English. <laughs> I got you. It was, it was just such... Yeah, easier. I got you. So, it was that like, makes sense. I got it. I got you, man. Yeah. I love it, bro. Simple answer. I love it. I love it, man. That's me. You and I would we would totally relate. But so, that is a beautiful statement. You know, serving here is serving him. Like that is just beautiful. Do you see what I mean by this? As we pray over them, I ask your elders to come up and their wives, and we're gonna pray over them. Um, if you guys don't mind, come on up here with you and your wives. We'll pray over them, and then um, if when we're done, um, when we're done praying over them. Hey, you guys want us to jam out with that song again before we leave? Like, as we're walking out the door, you want to do that? They probably, I probably could talk them into playing it one more time. If, if Ronnie can hang in there and sing it one more time before his voice goes out. What do you guys think? You want to do it one more time before we leave? Okay. So we're going to pray over them. So, hey, look, listen, when I say this, I, I, here, let me give you the story as they're coming up here. Check this out. So how many of you guys know Josh and Jen Henson? Does anybody know them? So Josh and Jen left uh, a little over a year ago to plant a work in FCA, guess where? Same place they're going. Crazy, right? Ten minutes from where they're going. So they have a little friend, like, you know, they're all good friends. So they're knocking out, they're building FCA groups all throughout the school systems in Pennsylvania where there's no FCA like it is here. And they're going up there as well. And what a beautiful thing, man. Isn't that cool? So hey, why don't you just stand up? Let's let's stretch our hands this way. Uh, We're going to pray over them. And um, maybe you guys come up a little closer, if you don't mind, away from the, the back. 
Y'all come this way. Y'all come up here so they can see y'all and watch out for gear and equipment there. Come on up a little closer, guys. They can't see um, online if you're way back there. Come on up here, guys. Come on up here. Y'all just come on way up. Yeah, don't fall off the edge, but come on up a little closer. Piper, you're welcome to come by me, baby. Okay. Hey, we just want to pray over them, and, and as we send them out, uh, this is very biblical. The, the scriptures declare this, that uh, when you have recognized ministry giftings and, and authority in your church, that the elders of the church, many times when they recognize um, spiritual gifting and leadership, we, they, we don't need to recognize, they, they are. But as a church, this is just something we feel like, man, we want to just overshadow them with prayer lift them up before the Lord as they go into the work that God's called them to this new season. So if you don't mind, just, just in a symbolic form, just stretch your hands out towards them right now as we pray over them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for, uh, for Greg and for Bobby. Lord, uh, I, I, again, Lord, I, I just, I mean that with all my heart. Uh, as far as examples in the faith, I, I to, to women, uh, to wives, to other ladies, to young adults here in this church. Lord, I thank you for the uh, family she's impacted. I thank you, Lord, for the, um, God, for the, for the empowerment that she's given other women. Now, just a great leader. And just think about the scripture that says that be faithful, be an example to those that are younger in the faith. Lord, I just thank you. I see that on her and I see it on Greg. I thank you, Lord, that as just being here serving in so many different areas, as she just said, serving here is serving you. And I just thank you, Lord, that of all that they've given here in this church, serving you and serving in this season, I just ask you, Lord, to just open up the windows of heaven. God, as they uh, get into Pennsylvania, as they get into the area they're going to, I just pray here in his heart, here in Greg's heart about ministering to people there, Lord, that you would open up windows there, open up doors of opportunity. God, that they'd reach as many people there as they've reached in Haiti. God, the harvest is great there. There's a lot of people that don't know you, Lord. It is just uh, so open there. I just pray that you're using this time, this season with their family to break through with the gospel as well. And there'll be many, many, many people come to faith, Lord, in that region. And I just pray in the name of Jesus, you'd strengthen them. Give them wisdom. Give them courage. Lord, thank you for doing what you've already done. God, the moving on their property and everything else. Lord, only you could do that in such a quick time, God. We thank you for that, Lord. Such a blessing. And I just thank you, Lord, for their faithfulness here, Lord. May every need they have be met, God, in their service to you here in this church and in all of our families here. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we would be examples like them to other people in our community. And, God, we lift them up to you, Lord, as we send them out. We just thank you. God, as we visit with them again soon, as we go to trips in Haiti again soon, Lord, we just thank you for the relationships that are forever. God, there's just a, a small distance between the two of us, Lord. And uh, we just thank you for it, God. And we send them out, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray over them today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen, amen. Come on, why don't you give them a hand right now. Love, them, love on them a little bit. Oh, man, I'm telling you what, two of the most wonderful people you ever meet in your life. And if you, if you have never had the chance to say hey to them, uh, you can do that today uh, before we leave.